Hey everybody, welcome to Rubber Toe Rundowns, and I'm your host, Roberto. In my rundowns, I share with you details about accessories or techniques that go into the Pacific Rim Speedway diecast track. This episode of Rubber Toe Rundowns is sponsored by Slanman Customs. Be sure to click the link and check out all of his 3D printed accessories for diecast tracks. Now, big news. The Diecast International Race Series is on again next year. There are going to be seven tracks this time with up to 32 drivers. So check out the link below on how you can be a driver in this mammoth seven month long competition. Hey everybody, welcome back. And today I'm gonna to show you how I take these Make It Fun project bricks and turn them into retaining walls for the Pacific Rim Speedway. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby for just 15 US dollars and each box comes with 285 pieces. And I've gone through about three boxes so far and I'm probably gonna need another two to three boxes. They're actually quite small and easy to handle and come pre-painted in this tan color. So let me show you real quick on how I get them set up for this wall. First off, I am going to take a bunch of Mod Podge and put it on a, the foam backing or the wall I'm gonna put it on, then start laying out the bricks. More bricks, more Mod Podge, more bricks. And so here you can see an incomplete section, all drying, laid out, getting ready for a final sealant of Mod Podge, which now you see here. This helps keep it all together and sealed. And once it dries, then we go into the painting process. First, I'm gonna spray the entire wall with gray primer, then kind of spritz it with some brown to mix it up. Then I finish up with some dry brushing of a sea foam green to make it stand out. What's really cool is because of the irregular shapes, the wall looks very realistic. So let's go up to the top of the start gate and see how these walls look against a few Dodge Vipers taking it to the track. And they are out of the starting gate through the bridge and Team Benjamin jumps out in front through turn two the leaders make it around the helipads in turn four, and Team Benjamin extends his lead into turn five, and Team Benjamin takes the win, followed by the Mopar SRT-10 in second. Now let's go see what happened to the yellow and silver Vipers. Looks like they got stuck in turn five. Let's check out the replay. It looks like both cars overcompensate out of turn four, and by the time they straighten themselves, they've lost all momentum and come to a stop in turn five. Well, that's racing for you. Thanks for checking out this episode of Rubber Toe Rundowns. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more diecast racing. You can also join the Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Facebook group. Until the next update, stay safe and keep your wheels on the road.